Hey, this is Mike from AVA EMR. I'm going to give you a quick update on the new fax import process from SR Fax. So previously, if uh, you were receiving faxes into a shared import file section, um, each user who clicked to look at these files would automatically claim that file and it would move to their imported files only and that was uh, creating some workflow issues. So uh, now you can click each one of these files uh, within the list uh, and it won't move from the imported files at all, so you can just preview these uh, and see which one you're looking for. Uh, if you decide you want to handle this file rather than leave it for other people in the group, uh, you can assign it. And essentially the way you do that is uh, you create a patient or you search a patient and then you claim and sort it. Um, you can also reassign these to other employees, but uh, again, if you're in a shared task group for those imported files, they'll be seeing them anyway. Um, so I'm just going to assign this uh, to one of our uh, test patients in the system um, and I'm going to click claim and sort. Um, we've moved several of the buttons to the same page and you'll see now you can actually um, adjust some of these uh, PDFs. Uh, the last button that's going to be coming up here in the next few weeks is a split PDF so that you can split documents into multiple different documents. Uh, but right now if you um, uh, if this was orientated wrong, you could flip it upside down. Uh, you could remove the first page if uh, there's a fax cover sheet on it you don't want. So now we've got one page of an upside down document. You can revert to the original PDF if you want. I'm just going to say this is correct. And I'm going to say this is an incoming consult request. Someone has asked me to uh, give an opinion on this patient. Um, incoming consult request. Uh, the person who referred this patient is myself, let's say. Um, and uh, well, you can leave it as pending review uh, for now if you want and just save it. So this last screen you get asks you if you want to put it on a wait list, uh, actually book an appointment for the patient um, or attach a consult. The important step here is usually just to attach it uh, to a consult. Um, so in here you'll find all the consults that exist for that patient already. Uh, a lot of the time it's a new consult and let's say we're giving this person some uh, endocrinology advice. Uh, we would create that consult. You'll say that now it says endocrinology. That'll now be in the patient file under the endocrinology heading. Um, but you can leave this task here or assign that task onward to someone else uh, to make a booking or handle it in another way. Um, so if I went into the patient file now, I would see at the top of the list there's an endocrinology uh, consult request. On this side is the letter that I just assigned. I could write a letter back from this side if I wanted, or I could write this letter and attach the clinical note. Uh, so once you save this, there'll be um, an add box here where you can attach your clinical note um, to a clinical note that I've created in this section over here.